Sports. The first thing you're going to want to do is head to Steam. You're going to select Browse the Workshop. We're going to search for a mod. You could search here, or you could type it here. Here's one of the mods we like. We're going to make sure we're subscribed. Once you're subscribed, you're going to want to go back down to Tools in the library. Go up to your DAISY server. Go to Properties. Local Files. Browse Local Files. Now we're going to set this off to the side. We're going to go back to Steam. Go to Games. Go up to DayZ. Run DayZ Launcher. And this is going to pop up. Now we're going to go to Mods. Now there are varying few types of mods. Every mod is not the same. Other mods come with different things that you have to do to different files. But the basic mod is this. Right now we're going to install, I'm going to show you how to install Community Frameworks. So what we're going to do is right click that, open folder, this tells you that you understand if you remove anything or change anything in the mod, it will not work in your server. So hit I understand. We're going to pull this over. Copy this. This is the mod. We're going to paste it into your server folder. Now that we're in here, we can do a few things. We're just going to keep this up for reference. We can click in here, and we're going to obtain the key for your keys folder. This key unlocks the mod in your server and makes it run. So we're going to copy the key, go to your server folder, paste the key in the keys folder here. And we're going to go back. Now you would think that your your mod is in your server, but there's a few more steps you got to do for your mod to be in your server. One thing you're going to do is take your bat file and edit it. You might not have this line in your in your command line. So what we're going to do is we're going to create that line with the quotations. So if you don't have this line, it doesn't have to be here, it could be at the end. Quotation dash mod equals, and then we're going to put an at sign and CF because that's what the mod was called in the folder. Now we're going to do a semicolon to separate it from other mods and close parentheses. Now we're going to save that mod. Now you could also copy this line. And you have to go back to the Daisy launcher. You're going to want to finally load the mod. And now, once the mod is loaded, you're going to go to Parameters, All Parameters, go to your mod section, check this box. And we can copy the line from earlier. The semicolon separates mods so it reads them individually. Now that mod is in your server. Now we're going to do that again. We're going to go back to the other mod that we had before that we actually selected in the workshop. We can actually just go ahead and load this up now. Open folder, I understand, unlimited stamina. Copy this, paste it into your server folder, 
that's in your server folder. One thing that makes it easier is to make it all one line. So we're going to take that one line and make it like that. Then we can take this, and now all we need is the key out of that folder. So we go in here to the keys folder, and we copy the key, and we go back to the keys folder in here, and we paste this key in here. Now once that's in there, in the keys folder, we could copy this name so we don't have to type it all out again, edit the bat file, go back to the line we created, and right here, we're going to paste that line and separate it again with a semicolon. And then we're going to save it and exit. Now we're going to go back into the parameters again and add that other mod in here and separate it with a semicolon. Now those two mods are fully in your server and ready to go. You could click play if you wanted to, and these two mods would show up. But, like I said, there are varying type of mods. We're going to get to another one right now. Now this other type of mod here is a toxic zone. We're going to go ahead and load this mod. Also note that it has a dependency. A dependency means that you have to have one mod in order to install this mod. We're going to do the same thing. We're going to open folder. I understand. Take the toxic zone. Copy the folder. Paste it into your server files. And it's here. Now we can go into here. And there's a lot more than what the basic mod holds. This just states how you would install their mod. A lot of these mods come with these, and they're very helpful. Server profile folder means you take this whole folder inside of there, you copy it, you go to your server profiles, and you paste that folder in here. So there it is, showing up in your server profiles. It tells your bat file to run that file specifically. And we're going to go to keys again. Copy this key. Go in your keys folder. Paste this key. And now we're going to go back. We're going to copy this name. We're going to go to your bat file. And once again, paste it in here to the next line, and so on and so on. And you keep doing this for as many mods as you want. Keep saving it. Now we're going to go back to the Daisy Launcher and the parameters and add it at the end of the mod line again. Toxic Zone. Separated by a semicolon for the next mod. Now we're going to go back to the folder again. And it has an XMLs folder. If you have the trader installed on your server, this would be the trader config. You would take this config and set it up in the area of the trader config. So that way you're able to purchase these from the trader themselves. All of these are editable. You can change the prices. This is the buy price. This is the sell price. Now this types folder basically puts these types into your server. So we're going to take this whole section here in the types folder. We're going to copy all of this all the way down to the end of the types. We're going to copy it. Now we're going to go back to your daisy server folder. We're going to go to MP Missions, Offline, DB, 
Here it says types, XML. We're going to edit this. And now we can scroll down to the very, very bottom to the first type here. This is a bracket that closes out all the types. So we want to keep this. So we go down here, we hit enter, and we take all the information that we just copied, and we paste that here. Now we save that. Now all of this will show up in your server. Now if you would like that information to spawn in your server, you will go back to your folder, go back to spawnable types, right above the INIT file. We could edit this. And we're going to copy this. Go back to the spawnable types. We could actually just go here. To the spawnable types at the top. Hit enter. We're going to want to space that and paste that here. Now we can save this. And exit these out. Now all of this is in your folder. And these mods are loaded in your parameter section. And it's also loaded in your bat file. Now, the mods are on your server. So you're going to want to run your server. We're going to wait for the mods to launch and load. Once this reaches zero, that means your server is up. All you have to do is hit play. Type in your password you set. Click OK. Now we're in the server. And I'm going to show you. that the unlimited stam works. At the bottom corner, I'm getting no stamina. I could essentially run forever. So your mods are successfully on your server. Now, if you join one day, and you did not change anything, and it comes up on this screen, and it says PBO error, The likelihood is, is that the mod is just out of date, and it just needs updated. So what you're going to want to do is open your server folder. That on one of the mods, it says updated on the side. We'll say that it just says this on the toxic zone. So what you're going to need to do you're just going to need to open the folder, hit I understand. We're going to want to copy this folder. And once again, paste it into your server folder. You're going to want to replace the old file. And for safe measures, go ahead and take the key, copy the key, go back into your keys folder, and replace the key also just in case they updated the key. And that's how you update a mod. You wouldn't need to mess with any of this other stuff. The PBO issue reads the add-ons. And there you have it. Your mods are on your server. Now I might go in more in depth in my next videos to teach you how to create 
custom traders in different locations and also custom areas on your map. However, if you like this video and it helped you out, be sure to subscribe because it really encourages me to create more content. And I'll see you in the next one. I hope.